is now in custody but remains hospitalized. For nine hours on Sunday, Lakeshore Drive was shut down so the SWAT team could negotiate with the murder suspect from Georgia. Anita Padilla has more from Diversity Harbor. Good afternoon. Traffic is definitely flowing a lot better than it was yesterday and for very many hours. But today, traffic is moving nicely. And in the meantime, it looks like Joseph Andrew Felton Jr., a 43-year-old man uh, in custody with the Chicago Police Department, he'll face charges eventually and then be eventually transported back to Georgia where he is considered the prime suspect in a murder investigation there. This whole thing started yesterday in the morning when police actually were trying to track him down in Georgia. They tracked him to Harvey, or at least alerted Harvey police. The police there ended up following him, chasing him 20 miles into Chicago. And along Lakeshore Drive, he smashed into a couple of vehicles, including a Chicago police patrol car. That officer is okay. There were two adults and a 10-year-old child in another car. They're going to be okay, but they're okay. But that, Latrice Felton, his estranged wife, the family of the, of the woman, says that he did have an order of protection, or she had an order of protection on him in the Will County, Chicago area, but that that order of protection had been dropped because nobody showed up for court on a following incident. So she had fled the area, went to Georgia to escape him, and ultimately he followed her there. And this is where we ended up with this situation here in Chicago. But the good news is all of the lanes in, uh, on Lakeshore Drive are now open for business. Reporting from the Diversity Harbor, Anita Padilla, Fox 32 News.